had a brother from Florida whose name I can't even know, but I can't remember the name. So he told my, told my wife to tell me his name. And he was hanging out with me, and we, we went to town, and I'd stop on the road, and I'd buy from the women that are selling vegetables mm -hmm. and things. So I stopped, and I had a, had a, a to give me about half of a gourmet of a gutty sack, and a half of a meal of potatoes. And the woman struggling, trying to get them, and I saw some young men standing by there. Hmm. And I said, what? I said, y'all just go stand there and let this woman struggle with this thing? And the brother mm -hmm. looked at me, mm -hmm. and he looked like, what the hell is he doing? And he said, brother, if you ever come back to States, I'd love to have you in my bed. But don't ever do that in my presence. He said, those oh, boys will kill you. He said, you, you, and that's what I'm talking about, the respect oh, mm -hmm. that is so prevalent here yes, with mm -hmm. young people. And I'll get there. out of my car and start fussing young people. What, did, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. you do, if they're doing something wrong, mm -hmm. I'll bring them up short. And they say, Summer, honey, and them. So sorry, mm -hmm. Albert. You know, you can't do that in the city. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. My brother told me, he says, uh, he, says he gets in his car, he says, and he looks straight ahead where he's driving. He goes, we go, and don't bother nobody. Yes. You know, you can do your life like that. Yes, because everybody got guns where I live at. I do. Yeah. And they, they're walking around with it open. You can yes. see it. And we'll show you. Yes. We'll show you. And if you even look too long, mm -hmm. I, they, they say, that I'm sitting here looking at uh, so funny. I used to be so much a part of that. I've been gone from the United States for 53 years. Wow. wow. I have been in, I was two years in Alabama. What year was that, 50 years? I lived in 1970. Wow. Uh, I wasn't even born. <laughs> I, I married my wife in 1969. Um, I, I uh, stayed in Algeria. With Eldridge Cleaver and uh, Seiko Dinga and all those luminaries and uh, and Kathleen Cleaver and uh, for two years then came here in 1972. Mm -hmm. 1972. And I have never left. Mm -hmm. wow. Out of all of those years, my feet have never actually corrected. <coughs> there was a short period of time I had the ability to go to Kenya. Kenya is far closer than Dar es Salaam. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, you can drive to Kenya in uh, four hours, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you can fly in one hour. Mm -hmm. you know. So there was a short period of time, so I did make those trips to, to uh, Nairobi to buy things that were unavailable. The computer parts I saw you in the documentary? Yeah, well, yeah, not, not computer parts, just even, believe it or not. People were lining up for toilet paper, mm -hmm. and uh, there were so many basic essentials that mm -hmm. you couldn't get. Mm -hmm. Toothpaste, stuff like this, mm -hmm. very hard. You, there would be shortages of it, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we go there. I got a picture down there in the Red Onion. The Red Onion is the meeting hall of the place down here. I don't know what you call it. <coughs> you see a bunch of pictures down there. And you can see me, my wife, my two young <coughs> children, are young men. We look like the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did go, go into Nairobi because it was just so. Has, have you ever been to Nairobi, anybody? I've been there once. It's hectic, as I remember. And uh, cars and all this, and we're like, good, the old and hand scared cars. <laughs> so, uh, now we are, so we have done very, very well in building a community center mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and continuing our struggle, continuing our work. I'm not trying to toot my own horn here. That's I'm just right. telling the truth. Say that. Yes. yes. Uh, this is revolutionary work. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 This is revolutionary. Sure. Now, you're from New yeah. York. Well, we're not uh, California. Oh, California. I'm sorry. Who said New York? Somebody said New York. Yeah, it's New Yorkers, isn't it? Well, I'm going to drop a name and see if you know. This woman taught me something. 
Do you remember a lawyer, female lawyer activist, Florence Kennedy? No. no. Yeah, Flo with, with her bag, she wears those big hats. Yes, she sure mm -hmm. does. That's Kofi right. knows everybody. No, <laughs> That's what's up. Go to Google it, Google, Google Florence Kennedy. She's right. an activist woman. Mm -hmm. I'm sure mm -hmm. she's paying. Oh, yes. And can see I was the quintessential bad boy. I really was. <laughs> yeah. I was. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. uh, and when I joined the Black Panther Party, trying to make a transition from that crazy street person mm -hmm. to a different kind of person that I think I've made progress in becoming, mm -hmm. I had to do it in last steps. Mm -hmm. So I had the beret and the glass black leather jacket and the 50 caliber uh, mm -hmm. shell on a chain mm -hmm. around my neck. And she was visiting, speaking, I think, in Kansas City. And she said, young man, I, I was young, I was in my late 20s. She said, can I talk to you for a moment? I said, yeah, certainly, yeah. She said, you know, she said, all that stuff you're wearing and your persona and all of that, and that's very good and it's impressive. And it does good for our people to to give them a sense of pride in themselves. Mm -hmm. But you know, and it took me years to figure out what she was talking about. I thought she was crazy. Mm -hmm. She said, but you know what? A grandmother could bake a pan of cornbread for some of those other people that are perhaps in the voter rights or whatever and taking her getting beat up and getting and that that mother, that grandmother can step outside her comfort zone and put herself at risk by baking a pan of cornbread. And that's a very profound revolutionary mm -hmm. act. Mm -hmm. Far more than what you're doing. I said, yeah, okay, I said, that's good. I laugh at crazy woman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And it took me years to think about that mm -hmm. and for that to percolate in my mind mm -hmm. to the point where I was capable of understanding that. Think of that. People that have never that have gone along with everything, never stepped up, never rocked the boat or anything, but they said, well, this one time, I'm going to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bake a fan of home. That is a profound mm -hmm. revolutionary yes. act. Mm -hmm. And it is. Yeah. And I understand that now. So, what I do now, I'm going to introduce you to him in just a minute. May I shout? Would you forgive me, please? Right here. Watoto! Watoto! Can I quote them? Then? Yes, no, you no, see no. them down there? Yeah. yeah. Here, here, here come. Watoto, what day in your harbor? He's coming. Southside, he'll be what day? Joshua! Who is that? I can't hear <laughs> it. <laughs> <one of the answers. laughs> okay, my big idea. So, there is nothing greater, nothing more satisfying, nothing more enlightening than when you learn something about yourself that you were completely unaware of. Mm -hmm. Please uh, what, believe me when I said that I was a bad boy. I, I mm -hmm. was before the Black Panther. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I had I had a reputation where you keep you, but people didn't want their young uh, didn't want their children around me. Mm -hmm. Charlotte's parents were. Charlie comes from a very middle class background. They had, uh, her father was a chief of a fire department. Her mother was a renowned uh, pianist and organist in the church throughout the event. And I come from 12th Street. That, that's where I came from. Oh, okay. And uh, I can remember, I've got a picture somewhere where she she had the audacity to take me to meet her family. Her father is trying to smile. Her father passed you in as a grimace, you know. Hmm. And he said, how in the hell did my, my daughter get hooked up? This girl here. 
I'm gonna knock her out one day. <laughs> so anyway, my my what I was saying, finding out something about I ramble when I talk. You can deal with that though. You all are intelligent people. I'm just an old man who rambles. <laughs> I this is my second batch of children. The first batch was thirty. I raised them from when they were four years old to where now they're in college. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. So now I've got these group here, it's about nine of them. And so I'm getting there, I said, good Lord, I, they're in primary school. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is this. My point, the point I'm trying to make, not very articulate, but the point I'm trying to make. This is revolution. Yes, yes. You know, yes. people have a misconception. They think revolution is a knife between the teeth dripping blood. Mm -hmm. It's not. Mm -hmm. Revolution is seeing a wrong and fighting with every ounce of your strength mm -hmm. and every ounce of everything that you have to make it right. Mm -hmm. And all of these children come from real poverty and be grinding. Yeah. Grinding here. So these are children that have families, but they come live with us, and I take them and raise them and send them to school and teach them. My kids are knowledgeable, they're smart, mm -hmm. and they're good, and they're troublesome. Where's that? This is a joke between she and I. She's the sweetest thing you ever want to see. She's a sweetheart. But I call her food girl, which means trouble. <laughs> 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 Hi. Hi there. How are you doing? You okay? Awesome. <laughs> hey. Hey. Ujambo. Yambo. Abduli. Ujambo wana. Salami wa du wana. Kaba. 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 Y'all say Madaaba when they say Chikamu. Chikamu yeah, is a gesture of respect. Oh, yeah. It means something else during colonial days, oh, yeah. but it doesn't mean that now. You know, it's a, it's a gesture of, of respect that that young people express to their elders. And uh, yeah, I'm giving you lectures on Kiswahili. Yes, <laughs> notoriously known for having the worst key. I speak horrible key Swahili fluently. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh huh. Jambo Wote. Jambo. So, anyway, back to the story. My job over is to go get my job. I'm going to get out My Jabu is the daughter of a dear friend of mine who passed away in 2015. And uh, he told me in 1997, he says she's finished primary school, she's finished uh, secondary school, she's just around 18, I think, and said she's 40 something now. He, he said, just take her. He said, just, I said, tell her to come on here. I said, what can you do? I said, can you cook? Yeah, I can cook. Uh, okay. I said, well, why, why don't you cook a pot of rice? She took the rice in the kitchen, and she came out later, half an hour, 45 minutes later, and there's a pot, and it's like cream of wheat. <laughs> and, you know, I, I don't mean to be insensitive, but I, you know, I it just comes out that way, so I said, what in the world is this? And she burst out crying. And she, I said, oh, God, I said, I'm sorry. Surprisingly, when I first met Charlotte, Charlotte was, had just turned 18. And Charlotte and I became partners. Come in here. I'm telling you, this is my job. She, she runs the Leaders of Tomorrow Children. And so she's been with me since 1997. Is that right? Yep. Wow. Great dedication. Excellent. Now she is an international chef. 
I taught her how to cook. I had to cook. And I taught my wife, who was a, a, a very good chef, I taught her how to cook. I taught both of them how to cook. And so they're very well known chefs. But anyway, I told you the story is convoluted and it's <laughs> But you can deal with it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I can deal with it. When the first group of children, now it's only these children coming in now, they're young men and women now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, I said, listen here, uh, uh, my job, I said, you are going to run this. I said, we're going to take care of the kids, we're going to feed them and clothe them and send them to school. But I'm not going to play grandpa. Mm -hmm. and I said, I'm not. I said, no, I don't want the kids bothering me. You deal with it. Tell me what you need. She said, okay. Okay, all right, that's all right. So we started, the kids moved in, and Omari, now who's one of my original kids, he's our in-house technician now, he's in mm -hmm. college now. Mm -hmm. he's, he repairs everything, you know, but he'll be very short. But I said, so now, I said, are you clear on that? She said, I got it. I said, I don't want nobody to bother me. She said, okay. So, a week went by, and then one evening, I had Hody Hody, it's the equivalent of knocking on the door. Hody Hody Hody, may I come in? I said, Karibu, a welcome. I said, but who is it? She said, oh, you have a guest. I said, what guest? She said, the kids want to come up and just greet you. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, I said, I said, come on in. And they came in, they all came in. And I had my TV on, they just parked themselves down. I said, well, I'll be done with them. <laughs> they they do it. TV, yeah, they smiling and all happy. And I'm looking like the Grinch that stole Christmas. <laughs> and uh, so she did that. The next day they may not have come, but the day after they came again. I said, well, this must going to be the new thing now. It, and he come out, holy, 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 and this went on. And it went on for another. And after about a week, they'd been coming out. I said, well, I guess they just made this a thing, <laughs> arbitrarily made this a thing. And then, one evening, I'm sitting in there, and they didn't come. And something felt a little odd. And I said, what the? <laughs> so I hollered through the HB window here. I hollered. My job, where are the kids? <laughs> and she said, oh, they're coming, they're getting ready, they're coming now. Now, this is a true story. This was in 2008. Boring, unforeseen, something bad happening or something. Uh, they come to my house, to my house. Charlotte has her house over there. I'm like a traditional African man. Mm -hmm. The MJ has his place. The wife has her place over there. Mm -hmm. That's the way the Messiah did. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So anyway, they came, and since then, barring some, something unforeseen, something uncalculated for, mm -hmm. Every solitary night, every solitary night, at around 8 o'clock, they'll come into my my room here. We'll look, I'm either trying to teach them or let them look at some food that's on television. <laughs> but I like documentaries and I teach them about documentaries and things I enjoy. But I let them look at crazy stuff that kids mm. like to look at as well. Mm. And, uh, they, they've done that, and they never miss the uh, miss a night, unless, as I said before, something tragic. Uh, Geronimo was here with us. Do you remember Geronimo? I remember seeing it in the documentary, Geronimo Pratt. Oh, he stayed with us for nine years, and he died here. Right.
so that was a that period of time things were in turmoil, you know. But uh, this this is so funny. I'm I'm not a praying person. I have no problem with people's religious beliefs. I they respect me, I respect mm -hmm. them. But I am just not mm -hmm. a praying person. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I still say a silent prayer every time I can remember for Judge Arthur Stanley. He was a federal judge yep. that they were out to get me because I was wrecking havoc in the Bible Belt of you know, and the Bible Belt don't play. Mm -hmm. They don't play. Mm -hmm. You gonna you gonna throw the line? Mm -hmm. or they were out to get me. I got a picture somewhere here. Uh, the director of the FBI after J. Edgar Hoover died was my arch enemy, my nemesis, Chief Clarence, couldn't think of his name for a minute. What did he know? There's something in the <laughs> Have you all don't know that? You too young. You don't know Ooh. that. You. Supreme Judge? No, no, I'm oh, saying you don't remember how you remember, just you'll be talking out there. <laughs> <laughs> what was I talking about? That's all right, you remember me. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? That's what my mother said. Mm -hmm. My mother said, I, I would kind of say, I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> just don't tell people, just mm -hmm. shut up. <laughs> and, and keep talking about anything. <laughs> <laughs> come back. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, Clarence <laughs> Kelly was uh, the chief of police in Kansas City, my arch enemy. Mm -hmm. And he replaced Clarence, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, J. Edgar mm -hmm. as the director mm -hmm. of the FBI. Mm -hmm. And he was out to get me, and they were out to get me, and they had, were determined to get me because mm -hmm. I was raising hell in the Bible Belt. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was, you just don't do that. Mm -hmm. so, anyway, that, that, there we are, and that, that's it. So anyway, this was supposed to be, I, I know they did, they just, when they, when they finally said, oh, we're going to sit in prison, they have a modus operandi. They'll get you in prison for five years. But while you're there, and this has been proven time that they did George Jackson like this. Yes. They did Eldridge Cleaver mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. They get them in there for two years mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. And then while they they start building mm -hmm. yeah, until yeah, yeah. you never get out yeah. of there. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as I said before, I had been a guest in so they, Soledad. Mm -hmm. And I said, Well, I'm through with that. Mm -hmm. I said that part. So I took my little eighteen year old wife. We got out of there, went to Sweden making our way to Eldridge Cleaver in, in uh, Algeria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this was intended to be a horrendous experience for me. Now I'm rambling, now I'm going to bring it back to the point now. Right. It was supposed to be a horrendous thing. And they said, oh, he's going to suffer now. Mm -hmm. And they started to campaign, bring me <coughs> back over back. Mm -hmm. I never asked them about bringing me nowhere mm -hmm. because I'm I think of my comrades, who my my associates, the people, the the, the Omaha to uh, Mumia, mm -hmm. uh, Sundiata, all of them, Sekou mm -hmm. Dinga, who's out now, all of these people that I was either in Algiers with or I worked with, mm -hmm. and they spent, they went back to the states. That's what I wanted mm -hmm. to do. I wanted to go back after I left Algeria. I wanted to go back to the States, hmm. underground, mm -hmm. and get back in the struggle. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted. Now, I'll ramble again. Yeah, put up no, it can mm -hmm. you put up. There's a vicious going around, vicious rumor going around that says women are smarter than men. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm here to tell you, they are. Yeah, true. I agree. Because Charlotte said, listen, and Zay Peachy called me Pete, the uh, director of whatever. She said, let's go to Tanzania mm -hmm. first. I said, no, I'm going back. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to get in there. Be part. She said, but then you can refine your revolutionary aspirations 
and get back and you know, say, hey, that's an idea. Mm -hmm. So we went to, from Algeria to, to uh, Libya and mm -hmm. met people in, in uh, Gaddafi's office. Mm -hmm. And they help us get here, and here we go. Mm -hmm. We got mm -hmm. here. All right. This, this has been the greatest blessing of my life. All right. mm -hmm. For all the 51, whatever it is, 51 years that I've been in Tanzania, I, it's been a blessing. Mm -hmm. I wake up every morning. Is that you, Lay Omar? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even see you. This is Omar. This is the young man. That was four years old. I can show you a picture of when he was four years old when he came in. I, he's our master in house technician. Oh, just, right. He just got back from school. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so, anyway, you know one of these moments where I can't remember what I was Keep talking on going. Keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> do. It'll come back. So, my wife suggested that we come here. Mm -hmm. And we did. Yes. And I've never been. See? All right. Think of this. Mm -hmm. I think Poindexter, mm -hmm. that was one of the Omaha too. Uh, the other one passed away about five years ago, in prison in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this brother has been in prison at Poindexter for all the years I've been gone. Mm -hmm. Fifty-three oh, years. Mm -hmm. And every if you look at my Facebook page. At least once a week, I said, "Y'all don't forget Ed Pointer. Please don't forget it." Mm -hmm. I said, that, "I said I've been blessed to wake up under an African sun. Right. Mm -hmm. I can feel the African mm -hmm. breeze, yes. mm -hmm. the breeze that touched our ancestors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Makes me feel so wonderful. That man's been locked up in a cage with horrible uh, conditions, uh, situation. Mm -hmm. Now I got to get get my dad." Get, get, some, get some cups and some, some of my juice in there okay. for people, please. Come on, come on, let's go. Would you all like some juice? Would you all like some juice? I've got some apple juice. And see if you can find some cups in there. Okay. Of course, I would like some. You know, I, I, I am so, sometimes I just forget. And I'm sitting up here just trying to offer you anything. Oh, we're fine. We just came from lunch. Anyway, go on. So, I have been blessed to be here, and I said I started this by saying that I was not a praying man, but yet and still, I do say a prayer for understanding. And he was the judge that sentenced me. And when he did that, he opened the floodgate for me to get out of that madhouse, to get out of that craziness, and to direct my struggle in a different direction. And that's what I've done. So I've been blessed to do that. And better than that, uh, I, had, I, I had a very, my wife is very young. Compared to me, she was 18 when we left, and I had just turned 30. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> her, her daddy wanted to quit. He, 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 I became his best friend. I gave as we got older. Mm -hmm. yeah. He had his ground I walked on. Mm -hmm. But he, I got him his first tablet and computer and mm -hmm. how to do internet and how to do We talked even before we came in to live. He came here to, he moved in, but he was still telling me, he said, yeah, he said, I didn't like you on the first met you. He said, he said but I die and go to hell for you. Mm -hmm. All right. He said, but I didn't. He said, because he took my baby girl. And I said, I said, but I treated her well. He said, yes. He did. Mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway, so here we are. That's uh, encapsulation of our history, and I've grown, I've blossomed, I've watched my young wife, who was so shy she wouldn't open her mouth, she's become now something of a celebrity. She speaks at universities all across the United States. She's in Georgia, she was in Georgia this time, she was in North Carolina this time. This time she was, she had a continuous, continuous thing going from 
the whole time she was two months, she usually goes to three months. And so here we are. So I, she came back, had to go to uh, Ghana, and so she gets back, I think around the second or third of December. And so she came back and uh, it's, uh, I have been blessed and I, I cannot figure why. I just cannot provide me for that life. I totally was a completely undeserving thing. I've been married twice. Mm -hmm. Each woman that I was married to, just lovely woman. I told you about my son. He's 58. He's here now, I think. Mm -hmm. Right now, in his place. But, uh, his wife just a, and both of them deeply religious people. Mm -hmm. What in the world do they see in me? And I asked myself, <laughs> well, how can this be? It doesn't make sense, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, but they, they're just lovely, lovely women. And I think, I just, in recent years, when I said, if I've done anything of merit, it's probably because of them. Pushing me in a certain direction. Right. Mm -hmm. I said, I'll be There was a time I thought, I said, oh, I really, I've done this and I've done that. I thought, I haven't done a darn thing. Mm -hmm. They've been pushing me. Mm -hmm. And why that should be, I have not the slightest idea. Go marry. Yes. I was good. Yes. Okay. 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 Yes. So you are here. Yes. 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 Uh, I'm a religious person, as some people will call me. I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual, and I've always looked for the face of the Most High all my life. Okay. And I found what I was looking for okay, wow. at 60 years old, okay. or 64. Okay. And it's by your works, I'm a writer, I say, it's your works okay. that will bless you. Okay. People have faith. But faith mm -hmm. without works mm -hmm. is dead. Mm -hmm. dead. I'm leaving mean, that for it. Just, uh, I'm leaving mean, that for Well, I, I, I certainly will So it's your words of bringing the children in here and yeah. taking care of the yeah. needy. Okay. And that's what the Most High, Yahweh Shai, said for us to do, is take care of the, the poor and the widows. The who said? Yahweh Shai. What, what the word he calls him Jesus Christ, okay. but his name is Yahweh Shai. Okay. That's Very his good. Hebrew name. And so it's by your works. He said, bring the little children to to him, feed them, clothe them. And yes. that's what you did. That's why you mm -hmm. have those people around you that are blessing you. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why. I'm telling you, sister, that, that uh, my father-in-law, the man who didn't like me, mm -hmm. told me one time, again, people are telling me some things that I, I don't seem to grasp immediately. Right way. Right. Yeah, I think I'm kind of slow. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. You know, Pinky said there's not a better sound in the world than the laughter of Pastor Yes, Jesus. yes. And that is just a yes, picture. Yes, indeed. I, so, I, so I sit up here with these kids every evening. I meddle with them, tease them, then talk about them. I'm going to beat them up, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to And they laugh. They're done. You, you can't even walk for it. You can't. How are you going to beat somebody up? I said, all right. So, so I'm, just, uh, I'm just so pleased and, and happy. And then I'm blessed. People say, yeah, but look, you've been away from your own your culture, mm -hmm. from the things you know, the things that made mm -hmm. you you. Mm -hmm. But it comes to me. Look what mm -hmm. I got here now. Yes, yes, it, it, it comes yeah. to me. You mm -hmm. see? I'm, I'm so very pleased, and uh, there we go. Right. May I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. 12th Street, where? Every, okay. Every, oh, okay. All right. Every, I didn't know that. I did not know that. That's why I asked. This I can be here. I can be Every big time uh -huh. jazz musician yes. either was from Kansas City, lived there, and certainly played on Tour Street. Mm -hmm. There was, a, I have a documentary uh, about Kansas City Jazz, mm -hmm. and they, Kansas City was corrupt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Corrupt the, 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 the mayor of Kansas City. The mayor of Kansas City, my cousin was the mayor. He's now a congressman, mm -hmm. Emmanuel Cleaver. 
No, Everything's all here. Yeah, I still have DHS too. I've got, 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 and then, now I'm not talking the big tapes right there. Those small ones that go in the car and go in the... Oh, you're talking about the CDs. The, the, no, 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 you're talking about cassettes. cassettes. The cassettes. Yeah. I've got thousands of CDs. Right. But before CDs, they're cassettes. 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 Yeah, yeah, CDs after cassettes. I've okay. had all of them. Mm -hmm. I've had boxes and boxes of cassette recordings. Mm -hmm. They're a little tiny, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the VHS I've had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the big tapes. And DVDs. I don't know how many DVDs I've got. We had one this wall where it was a complete wall of DVDs. Where they? Of the Charlie Springs of that. How about the eight track? <laughs> I, I know it now. You know. I know it, but I can't claim it's that. Still my first in New York. <laughs> so you all have been here this time for how long? Um, we got we got here um, Friday, Friday night. night. Friday night. Okay. Okay. Where is Patrick? Uh, I don't. Know. Is he gone? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, if he's not asleep, tell him to come up and question. That that um um what judge or whatever was giving you a hard time. Is he still around now? Oh, he's alive? Lord, no. Oh he's dead a long time ago? <laughs> that man was old then. Yeah, old then old, 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 old and evil. Well, yeah. Yeah. I said I said, so? I said this old evil man. See? He was probably fifty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at that time, yes. Yeah, you know, and I think. I, that's right. I'm still in my here. 20s. But you're still here. Yeah, but I'm still here. See? Look at him. See? You're wrong with people. Yeah. Do you play the saxophone? I don't. You don't? Know, I see But pictures. I'm very proud of, uh, I've, I, I've always wanted to play saxophone, mm. but I'm, I'm lazy. Mm. Okay. And uh, I'm like, 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 I'm Okay. So oh, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, let's do it from yeah. that way. I told you. Yeah. 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 And this is yeah. what I'm doing to give me a ghostwriter. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. That's what you're telling me to do. I told you that. I've got the title. Yes. 
Yes. I've yes. got the title. Mm. The yes. Children, yes. the Tamed Alive. Yes, that's a good title. That's a good title. Oh, you can share that. Wow. That's really nice. I'm going to run with that. Okay. And so I said, I'm going to do this thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There must be a lot of memory. Yeah. What about, yeah. what about the story about California? I said there must be a lot of memory. The story about California, California. California. you said that you were there into your disappearance. Yeah, well, you just change the SD card. You just replace it. <laughs> That's and then put it on the ground. That is, I was just really notorious. I, uh... Yes, it's a beautiful thing. It's a real thing, and then you send it off to your publisher, you get you a good publisher, yeah, and, and then done. you got it. So yeah. And they do all what they need to do, yes. editing and whatever. There, there's a, my lawyer is a professor of uh, anthropology, professor of law, and he was my pro bono lawyer. He, he, he wrote a book called Black Panther and Exile, you can get it on uh, Black Panther Amazon. Amazon. Oh, oh. Okay. And uh, oh. Oh, I mean, I mean, why would they get um, Oh, okay. Somebody had me in my Which one? Yeah. That one. Okay. Either one of them. Yeah. 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 You know, those, uh, some, of, some of those, I'm being very honest with oh, you. Yeah, yeah. And that Please. means I respect you. Oh, yeah. If I'm going to be very honest with you. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, 2 o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. up and can't go back to sleep. Yeah. And I said, I really need mm-hmm. to do that. Mm-hmm. Thinking about the bad yeah. old days. You know, mm-hmm. and I'm really mm-hmm. that, you know, mm-hmm. and Because that's not me now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not me. Mm-hmm. And we we host a lot of study abroad groups, and they expect me to have a, a conversation, a, a talk, or I won't say a lecture, but a talk with them. And I do that, and I tell stories, and I would always tell stories, talking about how bad I was. Mm-hmm. And I had a friend, who he said, you know, Pete, you're looking back over 50 years. Mm-hmm. You said, Mm-hmm. And one mm-hmm. woman that was just here, just recently, she said, why do you carry those dirty diapers around? Mm-hmm. She said, oh, that's just like a bunch of dirty diapers. Mm-hmm. Let that go. Mm-hmm. That's not you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that's not, and she's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just got to find, I said, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to stop talking bad about myself. Yeah. Because that's like talking about somebody else. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's not me. Yeah. I hope that made a lick of sense. It didn't make any sense to me, but I hope it right. was. <laughs> it sounds like repentance to me. It sounds like you're being repentant. Re- yeah. yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. That you're just coming yeah. to terms yeah. with it and you're repenting for what yeah. you've done. Yeah. That's what that sounds to yeah. me. Here it is, here. Mm-hmm. Can you believe that? That's how young I was when I left the store. Uh, okay. Oh, you like it? You like me since I can't possibly see it. Here, go ahead. I could, I could, you can hold it and show it. Hmm? Yes, if you can hold it and show it to us. Oh, okay. You got it? You got it? Yes, sir. Maybe we can open it up. I don't know how to do that now. I'm not computer. <laughs> I'm not laptop and computer savvy. Get it, Joe. Okay, don't you make it larger. Don't take it. I don't know who take it. Let's click on it. <laughs> Let's click on the image. Here you go. Okay. Oops. Uh, Let's click on the, Let's click on the image itself. Just one click. Double clip. There we go. Okay. 
and, and it will load. There we go. That's it right there. Perfect. Oh, yeah. So Black Panther in Exile, the Pete O'Neill story. Uh, so this was a documentary that uh, some of us, uh, most of us saw. Also, it's a different, so it's, but is the book based on the uh, documentary, I think it's called? It's something different? Oh, so I see what you're saying. It's 2020. Black Panther in Exile, the Pete O'Neill story, hardcover. Don't worry. You think I'm after we leave. So, 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 so this is us connecting with uh, Black Panther Pete O'Neill. Yeah, absolutely, sister. Absolutely. Make sure you send me the pictures. Send them to me. I had locks for years. I cut them off. Oh yeah, dear. Do remember your locks? Yeah, we do remember your locks. Yes. Oh no, no, oh no, I can't do that. And she, she cut them off. Why? You didn't tell me to cut. Oh, he tell you. Is this father orders? That's all. Is this it? Now you talking about? How long ago she cut them? Yeah. How long ago? How long ago? This is what he had. <laughs> <laughs> he said less than a week. All right. Less than a week. Yeah. It was getting to the heavy. Heavy. Yeah. I'm yeah. answering. I'm answering. I should be here. Should be <laughs> wrapped up. You could see my uh, own strangulation. Yeah. It was messed up. Yeah. And, and then, beautiful. And then later when she cut it, it just felt so light. Yes. Yes. Like your burden. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. so don't mind. No, I just need to. I need to do this. Yeah. I, knew, I thought you wanted to make it larger. You were showing us something oh. else. Oh. Oh, don't worry, I'm ready. Oh, all right, all right. Okay. Oh, you a handsome man. Well, you still are. You still are. Yeah. Cookies hilarious. Yeah. I'm a scorpion. All y'all heard what I had to say. Uh huh. I had to. I had to say what I saw. Uh, it's, can you wait a minute? I'll direct it. There you go. Thank you. It's an Android. Oh, this is an Android. Samsung Galaxy. Uh, this is my okay. exercise of the day. See, right. you got to be You can't see that. Yeah. 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 You didn't handle that. You didn't handle that. You didn't handle that. Oh, yeah, this is a tripod. Oh, it works for all phones. It works for camera, camcorders. It works for every single device. It's a tripod. It's a um, phone tripod or just a... Uh, Oh yes, absolutely. See my daughter will be coming next month. And so I buy everything. Uh, Charlotte just come back here to get two suitcases. Uh oh. We get stuff for me. Uh oh. We get a make it. So they have many different unique tripod, but this one works perfect for the phone. Okay. And, uh, But I'll definitely give you the name and everything for it. Okay, I don't know. I'll find it. Trust me. This and I'll even write the name down. You want to write the name down? Do you, do you want to see the name? Send. It will just pop up right there on Amazon. And and they go for some, from like 20 to $30 in that range. And that's our, uh, my name is Bomani Tamba, and that's our company, Africa for the Africans. And uh, look into, and the book give a full program of our, our connection in Tanzania. And just look into, you know, as we go from generation to generation, we're looking to get us more connected. And... Uh, yeah, and we just appreciate what our, you know, our elders now, people did, yeah. fighting the injustice, and uh, we're looking to build more economics on top of it. So sometimes, you know, we don't know the level of inspiration that we have on people like myself when I was in my 20s. Uh, yeah. Anyone that talks about Well, that's all right. Come on, say something. That's all right. The impact, uh, sometimes our elders don't realize the impact they make on us. 
See, you made it. We, we were determined to see you. You never had to walk up here 10 miles. <laughs> we were determined to push the bus if it got stuck. <laughs> yeah, we tried to, whenever we come to Africa. There's no like you were saying, you know, we wanted to just come. Not just show respect, but like you said, to show love. Yes. I just want to let you know that the youth, they know your story. Right. We are teaching it, right. and they are embodying it. And that, that makes everything yes. worthwhile. Yes, sir. I, I don't want to give the impression when I'm extolling how our life has been here, that to give the impression that this has been a crystal staircase. It certainly has not. Right, right. It's had its ups and downs. Right. But when I speak with people like yourself, it makes it all worthwhile. Yeah. Sure. Even the difficult time, it makes it all worthwhile. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Yes, and we see all the good. And when we're looking at when we look at the whole compound, and I'm telling people when you came here, it's probably just it was probably not much, and you build it from the ground up. It was just like it was like a jungle, right? Brother, I swear. Somebody give me somebody give me a, 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 a email address because I'm going to find I'm going to find. I give you my son. Can you give me one of the cards? Okay. Use what? Um, we can send Maybe some cards or something there. Okay. So then you pay. Yeah. Okay. Can you send a card? He said, he said, he said, I'm thinking of Malcolm, the, the ballot of the bullet. Yeah. I'm thinking of all that. How do I get your mailing address if I want to send something to the kids? Well, she got one. Should I call the police? Yes, sir. 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 Y